Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial because I am in a airport terminal right now. But uh, one of the main things I get asked in uh, Touch Design Land is how to do a sort of plexus effect. Now that's where you have a point cloud and it sort of connects all the points together. And now that we have pops, there's a really easy way of doing this. So I'm going to create a point generator. Let's just keep it at its default settings right now. It's 10,000 points and we can keep it in a sphere. And I'm going to plug it into something that's going to displace it a little bit, just so we can move things around and have some animation. So I'll pump it into a noise. I'll turn the amplitude up to 0.35, period up to like, let's just do two. And then I'm going to animate that transform with an abs time dot seconds times 0.1. So now we have something that's sort of floating around. And all we have to do is bring it out into this proximity pop. And what proximity does is it allows us to track distance. So we've kind of done this in lots of complicated ways before, but now this is really pretty easy. So we can do our maximum distance, our minimum distance, so we can have it so we only have very large distances apart. We can also set things like max lines per point. So you can have lots of lines or just like one. It's kind of an interesting, almost like a L system effect there. You can also change the number of neighbors that you're kind of looking for. And if you do various things that you can delete any duplications or you can do nothing or you can avoid just the default. You can also do a few extra things here which I'll go into in a later tutorial. But yeah, this is like a really fun pop that we can use. I'm then going to just put that into a geo and add in a render, a camera, and let's do Please have your tissue, please. Let's this do line. That's not me. I'm not being paged. But let's your pull down some of this stuff. Passenger 10. Passenger 10. Yang Ming. Turn Yang it Ming. to your white. Bring that down. Start voting. So, <laughs> and I'll put that into an out, and we can look at that in our panel, and if we expand the size of this, then we can see that our points sort of get a little further apart, but that's kind of a nice effect, and you can obviously play with tweaking this to whatever makes sense for you. One final thing that's always nice to do is I will do a camera viewport, let's drag that in. pump that into the render, open up our parent parameters, and let's just do all of those under camera dot dot, so we're referencing that in the parent component, and now we can move that in and out of view. Super cool effect. This is a very basic introduction to the proximity pop, but definitely worth checking out, especially if you've wanted to do Plexus stuff and you've been having trouble doing it the kind of more programmatic way. Thank you for watching, and I am on my way back from Japan, and I will be doing lots more tutorials. There'll be lots more in depth on this soon. Bye.